Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylin Alex. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe, become part of the tribe. Awesome and great things happen over here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. So today's video is going to be a little unboxing. I got a few things from Dior that have actually been on my wish list, but I was like, mm, I don't know if I'll get them I want to get them but it's on that wish list that I just kind of it's a casual list it's not like I'm itching to get it but it's like I want the items so these things have been on the list and they have been checked off the list child and I'm excited about it I'm excited to share them with you so let's jump into the video I have my three little boxes here I don't have bad <laughs> except for the small one but um i guess we'll start with the smallest one so i i talk about this all the time in my lighting like you it washes out the white but i love dior's packaging like uh, is it gonna focus like i love that package i like the gold and the pebbled finish of everything and then they have the little bumblebees like for some reason, I love bumblebees, probably because I'm part of the hive and I'm just like, bumblebee me everything. <laughs> so we have the box and comes with the little pouch. And this item, I have been eyeing for a good little minute. Ah! I'm dropping them, they're so small. They are these pair of earrings. So. You have all seen these earrings. It's the, uh-oh, <laughs> let's do it like this. It's the Bumblebee and the uh, Jador, Jador. Oh! <sighs> there we go, you can kind of see it better. But <laughs> they're the earrings that keep slipping out of my hand. One's a Bumblebee, one's the J uh, Dior, and I am in love. So like I was saying, they come in the gold and the silver. They're both like a brushed finish. So it's like kind of, it almost looks a little rustic. Like it's not a clean silver or gold, if that makes sense. So anyways, yeah. And as we know, I'm a gold hardware girl. But, you know, I like to... I still have silver accessories. I still wear my uh, David Yermans, which are silver. And we just, we like to, I like to mix metals. Like I don't mind mixing metals and this is, this is no different. So I'm going to go ahead and try them on actually so that you guys can see what they look like. Um, as far as price. All of the items I'm going to mention are still available and these retail for $4.50 as of right now. I have seen them on Fashion File a few times so if that is something that you're interested in you can get them from there as well. I'm not sure I can't remember the pricing because you know sometimes Pre-loved items can be just as much as it is retail. And in that case, I recommend just getting your items um, retail, brand new instead of pre-loved. But you pay for the potential payment plan. So that's another story for another day. <laughs> um, yeah, we finally got them. So straight on, this is what they look like. And then... This is the side with the bumblebee. And then this is the side with the Jet Dior. Super cute. And I like that they're like different things on each side. I know a lot of luxury brands are doing more of that, selling in individual earrings versus sets and pairs, although this was a pair. Um, Honestly, I like the idea, but I don't know that I like the idea of the pricing. <laughs> like Louis Vuitton has some and they're like $1,000 per earring. That is considered a part of their fine jewelry, but you have to buy two. Like no one wants just one earring. But I guess if you're wearing different things, it don't matter because it could not be a match. Anyway, this is what we got here. 
And I think they're so cute and like girly and so feminine. Like I'm here for it. So the next item is in this little box, a size bigger, <laughs> with the dust bag here. Open it and it has a little pillow and the tag is still wrapped on it. So let's just, let's just go ahead and casually remove it. But anyway, it is the bracelet, the Christian or CD Cuban style bracelet. Um, I'm in love with this bracelet. Like I have been wanting it for a while and I want a Cuban necklace. So this is just like one of those times where I'm just like, okay, this will suffice for right now. <laughs> um, let me take the tag off of it because this is slightly annoying. Here we go. So yeah. Okay. This is the bracelet. And I'm going to go ahead and try this on for you guys. And I never know when it comes to stuff like this. Like, do you wear it with the letters facing people or with it facing you? Because I'm just like, um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess this is about to depend on how I put this on. Okay, so after struggling for several hours, I managed to get it on the opposite hand that I wanted to wear it on. But this is what it looks like and I would definitely wear it a little tighter, probably about like this, cause I want it to be kind of fitted on my wrist. But this is what it looks like. And it's very cute. So this is, it's kind of loose, like, cause it's adjustable. The back of it is adjustable. And you know, you can put it on however the length that you want it on, basically. So you can adjust the, how tight you want it on your wrist and the fit. Um, obviously I would want to wear it a little bit more fitted, but because I was struggling for so long to get this on, we'll take whatever, whatever, whichever one we can get right now. Anyway, still love the bracelet and can't wait to actually like wear this. I definitely would wear it on this hand though, because I don't know, this is what I feel most comfortable with it, with it on. So yeah. Um, this bracelet retails for $4.90, I believe. So, and it is also still available right now. So I'm not even about to wrestle with this to take it off. I'm just gonna put my bracelets on the other hand. <laughs> so I just put my bracelets on the other hand and I would literally wear these flip flop. <laughs> but that's what we got, that's what we're working with, we're keeping it moving. Okay, so that is the item. Now the next item and the final item is in this box. And let's just go ahead and take this out. I just love their packaging. It has a little tape, which has already been removed. And the paper literally has Dior on it. And I think that is so cute and cool. Okay, these are just my receipts. Yep. All right, so the next item is in the dust bag. It's already sliding out. Ah! And as you might have guessed, I got the necklace as well. Of course, I had to get the set because why not? I actually want to get the ring as well now. I'm like, <laughs> I need them both. But this is so cute. Um, this necklace, I believe, retails for $6.90, if I'm correct. And it is available in the store now. I'm going to go ahead and try this on for you guys as well. And this chain is also adjustable, so you can wear it however you please. I'm probably going to wear this more so like H, like choker style versus just kind of hanging. 
see like I even tied it a little not as did I have it backwards I can't even tell I don't think so I think it's right but it's like clashing with my other necklace so I would definitely want it to come up just a little bit more but for the purposes of this video and me demonstrating for you guys I'm just gonna leave it like this child these accessories are giving me the blues right now yeah it's definitely clashing with my other necklace so I would either need to make this one longer so that it's this one's out of the way or shorter so that it's above. But this is like how it looks. It's so cute and so feminine. Like I am here for it. I love it. Like I am a gold hardware girl. I love gold accessories. Like I don't, I've, and I've always been that way. Like it's just something about gold that I just feel makes everything more elevated. Like you can't go wrong with it. Like you can't go wrong with it. Um, all I need now is the ring that matches these. Um, and I think this little set will be complete. <laughs> I would be definitely, I would be, I would be satisfied with this. Um, I did say that I wanted to start buying more accessories because my accessory collection is kind of small because I've never really been into accessories like that. Like I've always been a shoe girl or a handbag girl and I'm still very much so that. <laughs> but I do want to like add things that are going to complement the whole look because I'm usually one that once I get an accessory or two I prefer to spend like or to get fine jewelry and stick to that like this necklace this Tiffany necklace I will probably wear for the next few years like I don't take I like to wear jewelry that I don't have to take off and these type of items you know you have to take off because it's not fine jewelry it's fashion jewelry so I said that I wanted to get more accessories that aren't much that aren't necessarily fine jewelry and this is this is a start this is where we're starting this is kind of like what we're doing I don't want to like overdo it either though because I don't want to invest a lot of money in fashion jewelry, especially because fashion jewelry tends to be a little more trendy. And although it is not expected to last forever, um, I want stuff that's going to last me a good amount of time. So I don't want to invest too much money into stuff that's not going to last me that long. So there's that on that. Also, I know that specifically the necklace and the bracelet, they have another variation of it right now, um, which is a thinner chain and the uh, CD letters look more like a symbol versus distinct letters. Um, those are, I believe the necklace is about four or five and then the bracelet may be somewhere around three or four i have those linked as well because those are also good options just depends on if you like the thicker chain of the ones that i have versus the thinner ones and then the cd on them um is a little bit different but still very cute um i think those are very cute as well and i would recommend them i just happen to like the thicker one for my I guess I guess it's just my preference like there's no real reason I just like the thicker one but like I said all of these items are still available so I will link them down below for you guys to purchase and you guys can go on about your way so this was a mini video a little mini haul rather um but i wanted to show you guys what i got and i know in my last video i was like um i'm not gonna be shopping as much this year which i'm not i'm still not i'm still within a a good budget for at least the month so I'm, I'm i'm still sticking to my word i'm not gonna do as much spending um but these items were just like okay I really want them so 
that's where we are. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, drop a nice comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I post again. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.